So hello everyone and welcome back to some more of the World in Conflict match mode game. And uh, the teams aren't completely ready yet basically because uh, Kickaboo is going to be changing sides with Spirit Gun just to balance the teams a little bit more and to have more even game between the teams. So the players on both sides is basically then me in air, Papa Loco in support, Elian in armor and Spirit Gun will be our infantry player. On the other hand, on the opponent team there is going to be Blitz in air, so pretty much we are around the same level approximately. Then Redrum is going to be the armor player. Ilian, of course, is still the better armor player because Ilian is this very, very good player. Kickapoo is their best player with the infantry, who definitely is way better than Spirit Gun. And then Tunagon and Papaloko. Well, both are doing a pretty good job in this game, I'd say, like uh, in different aspects. So neither is that experience in match modes and it's not like either one of them is the very best support that there is, but neither isn't, neither is doing a bad job specifically in the game. Both doing a pretty decent job. But then into the game itself. So the normal setup, I very often do send uh, three shoppers into this direction and just one to spot the possible enemy air from this direction because it does seem to be the case that very often the enemy teams from the USSR side does want to go and attack the windmill. And so I am indeed just thinking that I'll see if I happen to get some nice hits into this armor. Sadly, don't kill it. But there's a little bit too much support for me to go that and kill it. Casualty. This is annoying me greatly though. Like I'm here trying to kill a little bit the AT infantry and AT infantry shouldn't be able to do that like normally. But there is the bug indeed that sometimes from the houses the AT infantry, which is an anti-tank infantry, can shoot actually the helicopters and yeah, do a ridiculous amount of damage like you can see here. My air unit should be way healthier coming this way, but nope. No, it's not. But yeah, like expected, the they are starting to now. slowly push towards the uh, windmill here. And uh, yeah, Kickapoo infantry on the other hand is going to be painful. Spirit Gun is doing a good job of doing the airdrop infantry first into this direction. I'm asking for repairs. Like if there could Your be cheap drops and drop Papa Loco is dropping some into that direction after all. And it's good that Spirit Gun has one wreck infantry into the windmill to have some vision. And they are dropping first three airdrop infantry into here. I killed the one wreck because I was annoyed of its existence over there. And uh, yeah, three uh, vision drops in here that I would prefer to take care of. I might not remember to take care of that one immediately, but at least this one is even getting the light artillery. I'm definitely killing this one in here, even if I can't right now see it exactly. But just so that the tanks and the um, support, air, that none of them would be able to see exactly what we are up to, etc. It's a very good idea to destroy the, all the visibility. Now at least use the scout too, so don't have that available anymore. So, But still at least kill the uh, wreck infantry from the enemy, which is still good. That spirit gun inf wreck infantry shouldn't be heading more into there. Should just go back into the forest now that I killed the, their wreck inf, certainly. But uh, yeah, pushing aggressively in here. And uh, what I want to point out is that like um, Tunakan had one support in here, then here and here. Like that's overall a pretty good spread. I would recommend indeed. Like if you wanna be pushing somewhere from here, you should have the majority of your support in the helping out the push. And Tunakon is doing that exactly right, having three here all spread out pretty nicely so that it's difficult for me to really attack and destroy everything. Redrum just had happened to already push so much forward that um, and Tunakon hadn't quite pushed as much yet, so I was able to destroy some of the units. But still, it's impossible for me to effectively go and try to attack here with all of these three support units here. 
Because sometimes I see that some supports don't really understand that when they are specifically talk of the tactic of actually going and pushing somewhere, that you need to invest in it. Like having, like normally this is a good defensive position, this is also a good defensive position, and maybe that you are needed here too at some times. But you should still prioritize at least getting the three units here at the relatively early start when you are starting to push. Otherwise, your way to burn a bolt to enemy air. So you need a good push. And uh, when you can get this place under control, that is when you can then try to start concentrating elsewhere better too. So yeah, I'd say that uh, Tunakam was definitely doing a good job with that, in that respect. Exactly what I would recommend. And this is of course what Alien does good, like uh, when they have gotten a good position in here, we should try to push mansion and so on and forth. It shouldn't just and only concentrate in recapturing this. It's still good for me to clear this and it's good for us to also try to still recapture this, obviously enough, but should also try to get their attention elsewhere and exactly what Alien is doing there with Spirit Gun getting the capture of the mansion at the same time while I cleared most of the enemy forces in this direction. And now then I'm just destroying that little house with the sniper, because why not? Then trying to help clear the rest of the infantry. But yeah, I don't think I remembered this uh, airdrop infantry here. Spirit Gun is taking that unit there. I'm not sure if he manages to get it, but I definitely missed it slash forgot that it was around there. Now I would assume that I would spot it, but on the other hand I was, I guess, paying more attention to here. But yet, don't know if uh, Spirit Gun gets it, but hopefully does. And this is a silly thing to do from Papa Loco because I was just using my scout already and planning to actually uh, kill the one airdrop infantry in this forest. So it wasn't a good use just for that because I had exactly a plan to do it. It could have been good if that wasn't my plan, but I was just there trying to kill it. So, but yeah, I think both of them. I guess died there, both of their drop infantries. At least I hope the Kickapoo uh, air drop infantry died there, otherwise I should have been there to kill it. But yeah, a lot of wreck infantries around, at least that one from the house had to be moving away. Possibly I killed it all the way, but can't be 100% sure if I did for a certainty. And that uh, they're starting to be a little bit kickable infantry into the town, which partially at least Spirit Gun is trying to also deal with, but I don't think that that one quite at least dies into it, sadly. But uh, yeah, then Babaloko is here pretty aggressively, nonetheless, at the end of the day supporting, but there isn't, like, there's only one heavy tank around, so there isn't that much danger. Like, this could be closer already, and these shouldn't have retreated this much. There is just one heavy tank, so, and which I am trying to kill. So, in that part, definitely would say that should have been more aggressively here. Like, uh, what I am requesting to for Elian to be able to go and try to push a little bit better to try to capture this. Because there isn't, like, yeah, there's the one tank, but again, one tank isn't that much at least. And yeah, the wreck infantry have completely infested this forest, which is just killing my poor heirs. At least I got the light tanks, but yeah, very, very annoying. I was so I was indeed hoping even that when I give TA to Elian that he will burn this forest, and he will do that very soonestly, which I am very grateful of, because yeah, I can't, <laughs> I can't do even much when just a uh, wreck infantry is killing me from that forest. 5 HP with this poor little shopper. I should be in here already back, but yeah, just would like to get this request. area. But yeah, there we go. Having some uh, uh, near bombs into there. Because yeah, definitely needed. Definitely needed at this point, I'd say. Absolutely. Good God, try to go into there at least soonishly to attack. I was trying to look that can I help in trying to clear any of these uh, annoyances too, to be honest. Because yeah, I don't I don't want that wreck infantry to live a second longer than it has to. <laughs> the overall the team the like uh, domination bar is relatively equal. 
as in, well, they are leading a little bit because they are capturing town more than we are able to capture these places. But it's not too bad of a situation at this moment. And uh, yeah, I'm then deciding to also try to actually... Because there was talk uh, with a few people at least that maybe the air doesn't always take care of uh, these air drop infantries enough. And I was thinking that Kickapoo, I know, will be dropping a lot of air drop infantries in the future too. So I was trying to clear them. I could be trying to go there. But on the other hand, now there is also the heavy artillery already coming down. So it's not as useful. At least that house is destroyed. And I am still trying to stop them from getting the cap. So use the... Scout ability, scan, and uh, killing the light tanks. Here, of course, Tunakan isn't active enough. Didn't notice that I was already killing the light tanks. So these are the things that I think that uh, Papaloko and Tunakan have more difficulty. I can have difficulty with it too, but Wally is usually pretty good of noticing that, okay, so, uh, even if they are concentrating into somewhere else, to also then notice in here. And yeah, more airdrop infantry, which partially killed by Spirit Gun, and then partially by me, and I'm just trying to get rid of that before it manages to do any uh, reinforcing. It might not be the most important thing at this point, but on the other hand, when he is just constantly dropping into there, it, I just felt that I need to help out here a little bit with that. Also killed that one tank at least. I wish that I was there immediately to kill that, but sadly not. Wish I was. At least got an easy kill now, but unfortunately it did get the cap after all. Ten minutes remaining. Did get the cap. And it's a star alien heavy tank too. Very much so. And yeah, blitz there, hovering over and wanting to destroy more. And uh, this is, I would say, something that Spirit Gun shouldn't be doing. There is no... TA used to try to clear this point. It's just that he basically is just relying that I would happen to be around to clear Your them. And anyway, airdrop light tanks are more expensive for an uh, infantry player to do. At this moment, he shouldn't have been doing these into here. In the worst case, which I think happens, is that he doesn't get a cap in any way, but he just decaps them, which allows the enemy team to get way more TA for recapping in these places. So uh, it was definitely not a good idea. In there it was just useless. In here at least it did get one cap. But yeah, don't drop like that, like <laughs> Ilian is saying. Uh, because yeah, they are more expensive anyway for the um, infantry player. So infantry player shouldn't be doing it. Sadly, my air units just... I clicked on the flares before, but they just didn't activate when I tried to do it. Like, sure, at least that we did actually this time around manage to get one cap, but still, it uh, it wasn't exactly the best the situation. Waypoint. And the specifically doing the uh, light tanks straight into the points is not usually the best idea. Especially at this point, at least... After nuke, more like, but at this point it wasn't the best. And yeah, Tunakan is a little bit too close here. I can't really be taking care of all of those units right now. Blitz, on the other hand, helping in town. But at least the situation in town is reasonable. And yeah, I'm actually deciding to use the aerial recon just to make sure to just clear everything. So I could hopefully even stop the cap of the mansion, but I didn't notice to do that early enough. I should have done that before even killing those light tanks. Like sure, at least the light tanks and the um, anything basically in there is dead. And now I'm killing also this so we could maybe even capture the... Because of course, if we if I get all the tanks dead barely got the kill in there, then Papaloko and Elian can be getting the caps here, which would be very good. And uh, getting the domination part to go into our advantage. It's slowly dying, but did manage to die before at least uh, getting the tank killed and uh, yeah, getting one more capture for us. 
uh, this would be if we would be doing the more conventional push yes this uh, forest can be useful protection the for the support but at this point i think it was a little bit too far to be useful for our yeah, tanks so I would have not maybe done that sort of a thing at this moment. And yet then trying to come and stop these caps. I wouldn't maybe need to go immediately here, but at least it's not the worst thing to kill them. And uh, it's just important to stop them from getting this cap at least. But there is definitely a lot of stuff that need to try to do in this game, as in going from one place to the other. And later on I'm doing a way more also split there, because it just feels like would need to be a little bit everywhere to try to clear everything possible to be honest and uh, now Papaloko is doing air drop infantry into here again would have been better if all the TA would have been just given to Elian because he is just the best one to use this and these were really big fuel bombs on the other hand into <laughs> windmill which is uh, very interesting I wouldn't have expected that but yeah at least the air drop infantry definitely got that place well, I at least destroyed everything in here, on the other hand. And I do see that there's even more airdrop infantry coming in, so I'm like, well, I guess I gotta stay here to try to clear them. At least Spirit Gun is now doing some defensive drops, which is good. Would have needed to do rather those a little bit earlier too. And then Papaloko also doing airdrop infantry, yeah, indeed, to those places, which really didn't do anything. There wasn't anything to do at that moment. And yeah, usually support player isn't the one that is using the most TA. And in this case, Papaloko and Spirit Gun are both doing TAs and drops that they don't do as much. And Ilian is definitely the best TA user in this group, especially when playing as armor. So uh, would have been good if, uh, yeah, would have been doing that, giving the TA for Ilian to use, I mean. I should have attacked better and get the kills of those AA units, to be honest. But uh, maybe I didn't have the best moment in that spot to try to do it. But nonetheless, should have or would have needed to do better. Still, extremely even game, just like it has been the full shit time. So, definitely can't say that this would be a bad game. <laughs> so, there is definitely that. Blitz can't do too much more in that situation when Papaloko is coming here. And Alien is sending out a nuke. I'm just killing that because I can, but otherwise there isn't really any reason to. Then Alien is doing the drop. Spirit Gun is doing some drops too, but uh, not necessarily needed to do those airdrop light tanks exactly. But it was fine, sort of. Then also doing some clears into here and doing drops into the firebase and now Elian is even requesting that I would go there and I'm like yeah uh, I just was clearing here I was first going somewhere else but yeah of course I should go and quickly clear these few things in fortifications there when it's possible of course it would be great if I had one unit here too and stuff but on the other hand my units are pretty wounded too so it would take longer to destroy those fortifications otherwise but still, very good that at least we got this place under control for the moment. And uh, yeah, then we are again still getting only minimal <laughs> amount of points because yeah, just having more and more stuff dropped into here, into our town and not having a complete control of it. Which is very unfortunate, and then there's all these light tanks coming and trying to go and, yep, need to try to destroy these, so that they don't capture the mansion at least. Definitely don't want that. Try to at least repair this a little bit just because, well, it's about to die. And uh, I was thinking that this should be able to deal with these few units, sort of. Sadly, not quite quickly enough because I don't know what there was even that managed to get the capture or where it came from considering I saw the light tanks more in there but yeah sadly it did get that sadly it did get it but uh, yeah there is a lot of situations that could be making this game be uh, like uh, better for us like in this here too at the moment is and at least I got some kills here they are going and doing 
things into here. Sadly, there's one like that. I wish I would have noticed this even faster, but on the other hand, I was just destroying all of those. Ilian could have also decapped this, which I think would have been good because I'm even staying in here now to destroy these light tanks, so would have been good to capture that and decap this because then they wouldn't have been able to cap it immediately. At least I stopped them from capping the windmill, so I'm splitting here a little bit like, yeah, you stay here, I'm going to go and <laughs> destroy we'll stuff here with this we'll unit on the other on hand, the this couple. So I'm definitely trying we'll to also split to be as useful as possible. They are getting way more points at the moment, at least there is units going into here. And we have the cap again, the fire base on the other hand at the same time. Like a lot of stuff is happening overall in the map. <laughs> Just a little bit of attacks everywhere. Sadly, I can't really kill that right at that moment. But uh, at least stopped basically or uh, helped keep that area a little bit. I'm trying to still keep that unit in there, um, but uh, might be better not to than killing that. AA unit, light tank, sadly not fast enough to actually allow us to cap it, but at least they are not there on the way or a risk for us losing it. Then hopefully Papaloko manages to drive over that, yes he did. And uh, yeah, then trying to go and stop this at least partially. Well, I'm thinking that do I need to be here, but then Ilian is doing already this strike here, so I thought that I guess that's good, I don't need to be there, because this shouldn't be too big of a threat, but I'm really unsure, should I be there, should I not, like I came here a little bit to shoot, but we captured it, so I thought that maybe that's good enough, so I can go and actually go here, but it might have been actually enough, if I would have been here. Uh, to kill this because they do manage to get the decap here but on the other hand it's good to get these skills too so that they don't manage to cap here the I think we might have also already won this game if Ilian's light tank wouldn't have accidentally drove into this spot because yeah there's sadly the airstrike coming here but there is an infantry in there right now Ilian's tank would have been here we would have got on a capture from this how many more tick points would it have given to us but yeah I know that this game was really late for the European times so being the last game that Ilian was also playing so a little bit poorer micro than would have been otherwise but yeah just the smallest little teeniest tiny bits also me being here stopping this Ikikapu infantry now going and decapping this on the other hand which it managed to destroy the other airdrop infantry there and then running there to decap etc maybe if I was there on the other hand this at least was decent but maybe I should have had just one unit here, one unit here, one unit here. Maybe that would have been good enough. But I was trying to say that, yeah, go there, please. <laughs> but uh, yeah, too, too late, too late. Yep, just very much in the last moments we got a lot more tick. But it wasn't enough. So yeah, very, very close game. Not the very closest possible, but... Uh, pretty extremely close 49.33 percent so so close so close like um, i do think that we probably gave them a little bit too much da from some of the decaps but they probably did that too in our uh, by attacking our uh, places sometimes when they didn't get the caps so on the other hand and on the other hand nonetheless da could have been used better Ilian, I think, would have been able to use it the best. But uh, nonetheless, a very good game. Over 2,000 score for both Ilian and Kikapu. And I got also at least 1,043 damage. A lot of things that could have been done different that would have been able to get the victory out of this game. But... Uh... Still, very much indeed a fun game and at least did a little bit more of splitting air when there's just a few units and trying to help keep or capture places rather than just going in a one big blob, so to speak. But I hope you enjoyed this game and thank you very much for watching. This is also a new game that we just played just uh, this weekend, so some still good games. Most of the games weren't that good, but at least this one definitely was. So thank you for watching. See you for more next time.